OCN Open Door Communication Network Our Frequency Watch us on live stream 24 hours. OCN, giving the voice of the Lord. Welcome viewers, uh, this is uh, Reverend Edward Odiakosa. I'm so glad uh, you tuned in and uh, I believe the Lord is going to enrich your life today. Uh, the God we serve is a good God, a loving God, merciful God, kind. He's all-knowing, all-powerful. He's good. Is everywhere. Is omnipresence, omniscient, omnipotent. That is the God we serve, and that is the God I serve too. He's my God. He's my strength. He's my shield. He's my buckler. And I thank God, we praise Him for His mercies. I I just want to share with you some things. Because a lot of people are confused right now about the things that are happening in the world. You know, they're wondering what is, what on hell is happening? What is going on? Why are things going the way they are going right now? A lot of people are afraid and concerned. They don't even know where to go to anymore. Uh, because they are afraid something evil may happen to them. Now, I want to say this to you. If you are a child of God, you don't need to be afraid. You know, because God protects his people. God knows how to keep his people safe. All you need to do is to walk in the spirit. The scripture says uh, in the book of uh, Romans... Uh, Romans chapter 8. I'm going to read that. Romans chapter 8, verse 14. Uh, I believe verse 14, which says, let me read it. It says, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Now, if you're a child of God, you must desire to walk or be led, rather, by the spirit of the living God. Uh, the day we live in is not a day whereby you say, I, I, I just have to do what feels right to me to do. No, you may be treading on the enemy's territory. And you may find yourself at the wrong place. A place where you are not supposed to be because you did not allow the Spirit of God to lead you. We need the presence of God in these last days. We need Him. We need the person of the Holy Spirit. Jesus said to His disciples in the book of John 16, verse 7, I will send you the Holy Spirit. In chapter 14, he told them, I will not leave you comfortless. I will send the comforter to you, the person of the Holy Spirit. He says, I will send him to you, and he will be with you forever, forever. So, the Holy Spirit desires to lead the people of God, but most Christians are not are not ready to be led by the Spirit of God. And that is why we have confusion in homes, 
in churches, amongst brethren, all kinds of confusion. Because again, we have an entity called the devil, who is our enemy, walking around seeking whom he may devour. You know, there is no one that is immune to the devil. That is why we are told to resist him. If the devil could come to Jesus to tempt him, how much less you? The devil came to the Savior, our Lord and Savior. If the enemy came to him, be sure he will come to you. But you must be, you know, it's important for you to know when he's speaking. To know the voice of the enemy and to know that which is of God. The Bible says that we should not be unwise, but we must understand what the will of God is. You know, the Holy Spirit is always there. Remember Jesus said in John chapter 16 verse 7, I will send him to you. That is the comforter, and he will be with you forever. And in Romans, Romans 8.14, it says, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God, the children of God. Or you may say, well, it says sons there. Yeah, uh, if you are, uh, you know, a, a lady, you are not excluded from this. Because in Christ, there is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither male nor female. We are all one in Christ. So you are included in this. So the spirit of the living God is there to lead and to direct us, to tell you where to go. You must be willing to find out the right way, the right way, because the Spirit of God leads us the right way. God's way is always right. God's way is always right. Say, for instance, you want to go on a mission. Uh, you say, well, uh, let me, I just feel like going to, uh, going to Guatemala to preach. Yes, it's good to preach. Because we are commanded to go into, the, into all the world and preach the gospel. But is Guatemala the place the Holy Spirit is telling you to go? Or are you just walking by your own feelings? You must find out from God. And that is why you pray. That's why we pray. And ask the Holy Spirit to lead us. You ask him because he's a person. You know, he's not just a force. The Holy Spirit is not just a force. Like people say he's a force. No. You know, the Holy Spirit has feelings. The Holy Spirit can be grieved. You cannot grieve a force. For me, I can be grieved. You can grieve me. I can grieve you, make you angry. You can make the Holy Spirit angry because he's a being. He is a being. The third person of the Godhead. So it's a person that has feelings and that is always there to listen to us and to lead us the right way. And that right way, again, is God's way. As many as are led by him, they are these children of God. If you remember when Paul and Silas were thrown into the prison, uh, they were thrown into the prison because they cast out the spirit of divination from a young girl who could tell people things. People thought, well, that the lady, the girl, was a voice from God. They didn't know that she was speaking from, from another spirit, with another spirit being led by another spirit, which is the devil himself. So people came to her, and she told them things. You see, the world we live in today, we must be very careful. 
it's not every, everyone that tells you something about your life that is speaking from God. The, you know, the people of her days took her as a voice from God. You know, go to, if you go to Acts chapter 16, you will see from verse 16. So when Paul and Silas came around, she was also able to detect that Paul and Silas were of God. <laughs> uh, isn't that wonderful? Uh, this lady was able to predict that Paul and Silas truly came from, you know, were men of God. But she was not speaking from the right spirit. She had another spirit. The scripture says, try every spirit to know that which is of God. And we should try every spirit to know that which is of God. You know, there are a lot of spirits in the world today. A lot of people claiming to be prophets of God, but they are not. But because they are able to tell you things, about your life, you say, oh, wow, this, this man is of God, or this lady is of God. And you go inviting people, come here, this prophet, or come here, this prophetess. Well, thank God for every, you know, the good things that came out from the mouth of whatever voice you are listening to. But you must Share to find out if the spirit behind the prophecy is from God. You say, well, how can I know? Well, Paul and Silas had the same problem. Paul and Silas had the same problem. For that reason, when they came, the Bible says that this damsel or this lady said all this to them for some days. I believe that Paul and Silas took time to seek the face of God to know if this lady was really of God or not. But the moment they knew that this lady was not of God, they rebuked the spirit. Paul cast out the spirit out of this lady's life and the spirit left her, and she was not able to see things anymore uh, that brought them into trouble. You know, trouble came. Uh, the people who owned this lady, you know, raised up by the crowd, and uh, Paul and Silas were arrested and thrown into the prison. They were beaten. They were beaten for casting out that spirit because the fellows who, who owned this lady lost their revenue, the money they were getting from the prophecies that this lady was giving to the people uh, was no more because uh, this lady could not see anything anymore. So this is the world we live in. This is the world that we live in. And these things are increasing every day. The enemy is walking around, you know, like a roaring lion, not only like a roaring lion, he's walking ar around acting as though he is of God. But he is not of God. Therefore, Seek God. Know his way. When you seek the face of God, the Lord will show you things. The Bible says, Ask of me, and I will show you great and mighty things that you know not of. The Lord will reveal things to you. He will show things. He will make things clearer to you. And you will be able to speak as the oracle of God, as the voice of God. The days are evil. We are living in perilous times. And as you seek God's face daily, 
The Holy Spirit will direct you where to go, where not to go. He will show you things that others don't even know of. And you will be able to lead and direct people the right way. The Spirit of God is the Spirit of truth. The Spirit, the spirit of the living God is the Spirit of truth. God loves you, my friend. And if you are listening to me, you don't know Christ, I want you to take some time to now come to him and say, Lord Jesus, I need you. God the Father sent him. He died on the cross for your sins and mine. That today, if you will declare with your mouth that Jesus is the Son of God and that God raised him raise him from the dead you will be saved so i'm going to pray with you right now because that's the number one thing the holy spirit cannot come to you unless you have jesus in you and now accept the lord as your lord and savior jesus the son of the living god if you can say lord jesus come into my heart Change me. I believe you are the Son of God. I believe that God raised you from the dead. Thank you for setting me free. And if so, you can now ask the Holy Spirit to come in. He will come in and change you. I mean, live with you, empower you. That when you pray, you pray with power. You know, he will reveal things to you. He will lead you. But make sure you ask him. So Holy Ghost, where do you want me? What do you want me to do? Is this you speaking to me? To do this or do that? Or marry this person or not? Because even in marriages, we need the leading of the Holy Spirit. In ministry, we need the leading of the Holy Spirit. In our businesses, we need the leading of the Holy Spirit. In taking care of our children, we need the Holy Spirit. You need him. So let him come in and change you, use you, empower you to do the work of God. So that you can be effective. Effective in the ministry. Effective in whatever you lay your hands to do. The Lord has promised to bless. He has promised to keep. You don't need to be afraid because God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power of love and of a sound mind. If you have the Holy Ghost, you don't need to be afraid. Second Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power of love and of a sound mind. So say to me with me, rather, Holy Ghost, I need you. Come. Come, empower me. Paul, going through the region of Ephesus, when he came to Corinthians, he saw the brethren, and he asked them this question. Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? They said, well, we've never heard if there be anything called the Holy Ghost. They only knew about the baptism of John. So, Paul now expanded the word of God to them, laid his hands on them, and they were filled with the Holy Spirit and with the evidence of speaking in other tongues. We need the Holy Spirit today. We need him. You need the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of the living God, the Spirit of truth, the Spirit that will empower you, the Spirit that will show you things to come. You know, he will reveal things to you show you more about God, about the things of God. And uh, when this happens, you will not be deceived. A lot of Christians are being deceived today, going the wrong way, thinking they are right. But if they will take some time to pray and seek the face of God, they will understand. They will understand. And when they speak, they speak as oracles of God. 
as the voice of the living God. Because we need true ministers, real ministers that are real today, who will teach the people the right way. Ah, you see, confusion in homes, divorces, people don't care about divorce anymore. They can divorce their mate anytime, go marry another woman or another man. Well, you better examine to know the spirit that is leading you. The people change churches, they move from one congregation to another because they feel that the, the grass is greener at the other end. No, seek the face of God. Let the Holy Spirit lead you. Even in business, let the Holy Spirit lead you. Even in living with your wife or your husband, let the Holy Spirit lead you. A home where the Spirit of God is in charge. Ah, oh, there will be no confusion. I said there will be no confusion. There will be no fighting. You know, God is not the author of confusion. If you are led by the Spirit of God, the Spirit of God will show you what to do, help you manage, manage the things that are around you, the things that are going on around you. So I pray right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, that the blessings of God will come upon you, and I rebuke every power of darkness around you. I cast down every imagination, every high thing that exhausts itself above the knowledge of God in your life. I rebuke the enemy. I bind him. I bind him and I cast him out. Every spirit of witchcraft, familiar spirits, mommy spirits, unclean spirits, spirits of deception, I command them to leave. And I release the healing power of God over you from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Be healed. Be healed. Receive your healing. Your eyes, your ears, your body, your intestines, your kidney, your liver, ah, your blood vessels, your limbs. Receive your healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus loves you. He cares. He cares. He cares. Be blessed. Be blessed. I want you to write or call this network and let them know what the Lord has done in your life and also come vis visit the church that is part of this network. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. You know, I say shalom to you because the Lord, the Lord loves you. The peace of God be with you. The peace of God strengthen you, guide you. May you know that you know that you know that Jesus Christ is Lord and that you are walking in the spirit of the living God. God bless you. Bless you, very good. I will come your way again uh, at the appointed time and uh, also let God continue to do the great work he's doing in your life. You know, as a minister, as a married man or wife, as a teacher, instructor, business, woman, actor, actress, be blessed. You are blessed. Your children are blessed. No weapon formed against your children shall prosper. Great is their peace. They are taught of the Lord. Nothing shall offend them. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. The strength of God is yours. And pray for America. Pray for your nation. Pray. Pray for your leaders. Don't criticize them. You are blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Shalom again. Praise the Lord. OCN, Word of God to the World.